Good morning or good afternoon, depending on when you are seeing this. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Minette and I'm one of the music teachers at South. Um, today, you are going to be exploring one song um, several different ways. And this is a song that uh, I had heard before, but I didn't really get into until this summer. I was listening to uh, a new a artist new to me by the name of um, Jake Blount. And um, I started singing along with one of his songs that he was playing. He's an American roots artist. Roots meaning um, American folk music. So this music often is has not been written down. It's been passed along orally. So um, I'm gonna play a tune on my guitar or whatever, on my banjo, and people are listening and they, they learn it and they learn it from each other. So a really great tradition that we have and that many cultures have. It's not just the United States. But this particular song um, comes from the Appalachia era, area. So think um, Carolinas, Alabama, maybe Virginia. My geography is not really great right now. But beautiful area with lots of rich history of people and music. Anyway, so I was listening to this song in his record and I started singing along with it. And I thought to myself, I was like, well, jeepers, I, I know this song. Where have I heard this song before? So then I Googled In the Pines, also known as Where Did You Sleep Last Night, also known as My Girl, also known as Black Girl. That's another thing with American folk music is that they take on very different names as well, depending on who's playing it. So the first thing that comes up is Nirvana. And I was like, well, huh. This guy's covering a Nirvana tune. Nope, he was not covering a Nirvana tune. Actually, Kurt Cobain covered this song. And it was originally made pretty popular by Lead Belly. But actually, the first commercial recording was done by this guy, um, uh, Doc Walsh, and in the early 1900s. But this song originated in like the late 18, 1800s, 1870s. So today, you're going to be listening to the very first commercial recording of this song. And then you're going to be listening to other versions of this song. And the hope is that you can kind of see how each artist took their own spin on it. Maybe they changed the lyrics. Maybe they changed the chords. At the end of each song, there is a little blue dot along the timekeeper. You're going to click on that blue dot and you'll answer the question. Um, this song is actually pretty easy to learn if you have an ukulele or a guitar or any kind of chordal instrument, piano. You can, you can learn this song pretty easily. So I hope you enjoy this song. Um, it's certainly a song that gets stuck in the head. But uh, please enjoy and uh, hope you learn something from this. Bye.